Bahagi ng paghahanda hindi lamang sa muling pagsisimula ng klase ngayong taon, kundi maging ang pagbabalik ng face-to-face classes ang pagkasa ng Brigada Eskwela ngayong taon. Sa Imos Pilot Elementary School sa Cavite, ginalap ang kick-off ng Brigada Eskwela ngayon na may temang Brigada Eskwela, tugon sa hamon ng ligtas balik-aral. An event that we must admit is causing both excitement and a li- a little bit of uneasiness or anxiety to some of our teachers, some parents, and maybe to some of our learners. Excitement because Brigada Escuela activities all over the country always highlight the communal efforts of all education stakeholders to prepare our school for our learners. We would see parents who are excited, willing, and happy to extend any help they could to ensure that our schools are ready to receive our learners from day one of the opening of classes and onwards to the school year. Sinabi ni Duterte na nagkakaintindihan ng lahat ukol sa pangamba at takot dahil nagpapatuloy pa nga ang pandemya dulot ng COVID-19. At may iba pang sumunod at sumulpot na mga hamon sa muling pagbabalik eskwela ng mga mag-aaral makalipas ang mahigit dalawang taon. Uneasiness or anxiety because of the peculiarity of our time now. We continue to face the threats of the COVID-19 pandemic along with many other unexpected challenges that hamper our daily progress for our learners. Monkeypox, Baha, Bagyo, Earthquake, all of that will come. What is important is that we have the determination to succeed in our mission. Muli magsisimula ang mga klase sa basic education sa darating na Agosto 22 at bilin ni Duterte may ilang araw pa para lubusin ang paghahanda upang matiyak ang kaligtasan ng mga mag-aaral at tauhan ng eskwelahan. Partikular pa niyang ipinalawagan ay ang pagpapabakuna na ng mga teaching and non-teaching personnel na nagdududa pa rin sa COVID-19 vaccine. We are all set to open our schools all over the country 22 days from now. To address the valid concerns over COVID-19 transmission, we have laid down measures that will serve as our guide to prevent our children from contracting the virus. As I continually to call on our teaching and not teaching unvaccinated Department of Education personnel to go to counseling and consider, reconsider your decision about vaccination. Taon-taon na niya ay nagsisimula ang mga klase, ngunit taon-taon din ay maraming kalamidad at hamon ang hinaharap ng kagawaran, mga magulang at mga mag-aaral. Anya, misto lang nasa kumunoy ang deped na habang kumikilos para magligtas o magayos ay tila lalo pa itong lumulubog dahil sa mga dumadating na issue at problema. We all know these problems and the other problems and challenges that the Department of Education and its partners are facing year in and year out. As mentioned by ASEC Bringas, we were in a meeting last week and I was telling our USEX and ASEX that we are in a quicksand. Hindi pa nga natin naayos at natapos ang isang ang destruction ng isang kalamidad, dumating na naman ang isa pang kalamidad. Ngunit positibo si Duterte na tulad sa mga nagdaang hamon, makakaraos ang lahat sa tulong ng Administrasyong Marcos Jr. at maging ng mga nasa pribadong sektor. Banggit pa niya, ang tagumpay sa sektor ng edukasyon ay nakaatang sa mga balikat ng mga guru. And the difference between possible and impossible is our determination to overcome all challenges to succeed. That we are gathering here today to pilot Brigada Escuela all over the country with your presence here. It is truly inspiring. And I hope that the energy that you are showing today will create waves and waves of the same energy and will reach even the farthest public school in the Philippines. Janice Cosio, Raji Inquirer Online, Bayan Nagtatanong, Mamaya nag-uusisa.